JD, I look for Kevin Lockery to do all kinds of cute, clever things. Porter. John Paxson with 10 on the shot clock. Michael Jordan over Rice. Bucket. Michael Jordan had back problems. He injured his back on the first play of the game, the final game of the regular season against the Pistons. Shot it with the ball over his head. Like a volleyball tap. Here's Jordan on the pirouette, and Cartwright is open. A sluggy start by the defending champs. Jordan the steal. Paxson ahead to Pippen. Blowing pass right. Really surprised they don't give Scotty Pippen the ball, clear out for him, and let him take Glenn Rice off the dribble. It was Jordan over Shaw instead, and Jordan has six. Inside, it's Rice against Paxson. Jordan the block as he recovered, knowing that Rice wanted to post. It was Hanson, I'm sorry, that he had posted Well, up. this is going to be the next step up for Glenn Rice. He's going to have to learn to read the double teams. He clearly missed the first ball to Jordan. Jordan off the drive. Eight points for him, a two-point Miami lead. Kevin Edwards launching ball. And the rebound to Jordan. He's got a run out. Well, I'd like to see Kevin unpredictable. Let that guy shoot a little bit if you want. It was Rice over Hanson. And now Chicago looking two for one in Jordan zigs and zags. I look for Kevin to get a timeout pretty quick here. Scotty Pippen to Jordan in the post against Kevin Edwards and company. Well, there's no defense for that. They sent the double team. In the second quarter, we've seen Michael Jordan at his best, Dick. Well, why is Michael Jordan able to take advantage of the size of Alan Ogg coming over on the double team. He smells it coming, see it? And he turns and fades towards the baseline, negating the seven foot one size of Alan Ogg. That's instinctual, it's brilliant. Miami Heat, not intimidated in the least. Michael Jordan for the dunk. Started by Bimbo Coles, who has come in. Jordan off the drive, a punch into Grant again. See, most Horace. people don't realize how strong Horace Grant is. Jordan guarded by Shaw. Michael quick move to the hoop and finishes lefty. 18 points. Balls with their fourth two-point lead of the game. That was Pippen the steal. Levingston, Pippen, and Jordan. The Bulls have their biggest lead. Happening is that the Dobermans are being sent out to go to work. And that's what causes this kind of easy basket. Look at the force of that ball. Very well. In fact, they do a lot of three-point shooting out of it. Here's Jordan. Wow! Everyone in this arena fell back in their seat. You did, I did. The whole scorer's table fell back in their seat. When he decides to elevate his game, he says, get out of my way. Oh, my Lord. Running cycling on the foul. Jordan's got 23. Sometimes a player just has to take his entire team on his own talented broad shoulders. Look at this finish by Michael. Whew. Michael knew that the team was in trouble, that he needed baskets, and they needed inspirational baskets. He provided. A lob to Paxson. Now Jordan from just inside of three-point country, and he has 25. Jordan tips to Grant. And now it's Jordan again. He's in for an Astro-like performance. He's got 27. Foul change. Got to get the ball stopped there. They're pretty well matched up now. Pippen driving hard to the hoop. You got to make a take. He gets the ball in the post, and all he's done is look to pass the ball back out. Hasn't expressed himself inside like he should. That guy has expressed himself on occasion. 29 points for Jordan. A serious injury. It does create extreme pain. 
Well, you know, someone was talking to me before the game, and they said, oh, nice move. That's what they said. 31 points for Jordan. <laughs> that isn't what they said. <laughs> but <laughs> but what's, what's happening is the, the passing lanes are being taken away, and that's why Michael Jordan is able to get in so close to the basket. And once he gets in there, it's a matter of get up in the air, have a cup of tea, two lumps of sugar, please, and I'll just put the ball in the basket while I'm there. 154. Mainly they shoot threes for spacing as they're having trouble with the press. Pippen to Jordan. Now it's Jordan against Smith. Rimming good. Michael Jordan with 36. Time for the Miami Heat. Again, the Bulls go into Jordan, and again he delivers. He's got 38. Chicago to throw in. That foul was on Keith Askins. Jordan, a quick spin out and dunk. Well, Alan Og has got to come across. You might ask yourself, why does Michael Jordan get so open here? Well, Alan Og is moving over to pick up Scottie Pippen inside because he was worried about being illegal. And the rebound to Williams. Now it's Jordan at the controls. Good punch into Purdue. Wonderful pass. Absolutely wonderful. Watch the passing here. Michael Jordan pushes it up, gets it back, goes up, oh, changes his mind inside. A bing pass. Bing, I'll hit you inside. No question in my mind, Michael Jordan has come out in this quarter and said, I'm going to take care of some of my teammates. I got enough points. I don't want to get back to this thing where I get 50 and the rest of the team gets, you know, 30. But you know what, Dick? He calls himself a utility player. Michael Jordan says, I'm a utility man. Whatever my team needs from me, that's what I'm going to do on any given night. What's, what's interesting now is the spacing that the Chicago Bulls are trying to set up. Look how they're way outside the three-point line, trying to create some easy baskets. Like that. The Dutch boy in the paint being dominated not by a frontline player, but rather by a player from the backcourt, Michael Jordan. But then again, Dick, he dominates quite often. And they're building another one right next door, <laughs> which he will fill. Uh, an interesting sidebar. 109.75. We're told that that is the lowest offensive output by the Pistons in the playoffs. Michael Jordan has 44. Well, if Rice being picked up by Horace Grant. The three try by Rice is short. Jordan throwing ahead to Grant. Horace Grant with 15. Now it's Jordan again coming up with a steal. Paxson to Jordan for the finish. 46. John Sunbold on the foul. Jordan out of the game now. But he had a Michael Jordan-like night in getting the Bulls pointed in the right direction. And it was the flood of Michael Jordan that proved to be the demise of the Miami Heat. We've asked Bulls guard Michael Jordan to stop by and visit with us here on the post-game show. Michael, I mentioned at the end of the game that uh, you guys got off to a sluggy start. But um, you got them pointed in the right direction. You sensed that your team needed some offense from you, and you were certainly able to deliver. Well, I can sense everybody was a little nervous, even though we tried to be as confident as possible coming into the game because it's a lot of high expectations here in Chicago because of what we did last year and what we've done in the regular season. So I think the shots were a little light, a little tight, you know, long shots, short shots. So, you know, I took my leadership in, in terms of offense to try to loosen things up. Is it more difficult to defend a title or to win it the first time? You know, I think it's really fun because uh, the expectations are there and the challenges are there. So you can't fall asleep. you got to step on the court and be ready to play. I thought I detected uh, on the countenances of your teammates and maybe even you a little swagger, maybe some preconceived notions about this team that you were playing. It is, after all, their first entrance into the playoffs. It is, and you try to use that as a motivational factor. You use the first game as some type of a message to send, if possible, that it's not going to be as easy as they may think, and it's going to be a tough series, and hopefully we can keep things going. Well, I thought that uh, 
it looked like there was a little overconfidence on, on, on the Chicago Bulls part and it looked like you sensed it and you said let me set an example here and uh, you had that one dunk. <laughs> I told him if, if, the, if that dunk had a force meter on it it would have broken it. Yeah I guess that was true I mean and it's hard to come in and try to take this team lightly. You gotta you know it's a little swagger in, involved especially with our reputation preceding us a little bit but uh, somehow you gotta play through it you know and hopefully this first game is out the way we can kind of settle down to more uh, evenly played game. Well, there's no question you got the ship righted. <laughs> so far. MJ, all the best. Thanks, guys. All right.